you had to look forward to is hard work or a lot of hustling. Me, I wanted much more, so I left home. This is 1929. I'm 14, and I already got a job playing in a real hot show in Chicago. Everyone says I'm a prodigy. I don't know about that, but I'm pretty darn good. Anyways, me and the guys got invited to this ritzy party. Angel's here. See him with the band. Maybe this time she'll want me to play a duet with her. Shut up! I don't want to hear any of your explanations, kid. I don't care where you're playing, how good you reckon you are. I want to know what the hell you're doing at my party! This ain't no schoolyard! You should be at home with mommy and daddy! Like I told you! What? You told me. You told me. You told... Who the hell are you to tell me anything? You're nothing! A nobody! You're a little worm! You're lower than that! At my party, you're dirt! Come here! <laughs> I took some of that wind out of you, huh, kid? Huh? <laughs> and what? I got you all going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, well, what happened to the music? Hey, Jeff, bring that tune I like. Can she Fine. Who the hell was that guy anyway? That was Al Capone. Oh, what? Come on, kid. I better drink. Hi. How you doing? Hey, good to see you. It's your brother. Let's do the business. Yeah, good. Mr. Mayor, glad you could make it. Maybe that duet's gonna have to wait. It don't bother me none. Me and my new friend, Mr. Capone. We're gonna get ourselves better acquainted. Hey, whiskey's here. And one lemonade. So stupid, I should give you the lemonade to drink. What do you reckon, kid? Listen, you gotta learn when people are kidding with you. Oh. <laughs> you gotta know how to deal with people. Come here. 
I got a pal, Johnny Torrio. He taught me all about how to deal with people. Yeah, I even had to deal with some people for him once. Huh? There were these three uh, witnesses who were prepared to swear that they saw Johnny shoot a man. They would even say they saw him in broad daylight pull out a gun and shoot this guy down. Bang, 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 boom, 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 on stage street. Oh, can you believe that? They kept that up, it was enough to say, poor Johnny Tari, I'll tell their chair. On first degree murder. Something, right? And I know the situation needs a bit of this. And some of this too. And I know the only thing to do is to get to the jury. Right? Oh. So one day I just happened to find myself talking to this guy, and you know what? He's on the jury. Me that 25 feet will make his life a whole lot easier. Especially since all he has to do is to hold out the man's life. You know, it took three days for that jury to come out. Luckily, they gave a verdict to manslaughter. Now, I'm a fair man, as everyone knows. I decided to throw a little thank you party for this guy when I give him his money. So this guy comes to his party. And I greet him, and I make him feel appreciated. And I says to him, hey, you know I never thought you'd be able to swing it? How'd you get away with manslaughter? Jeez, Mr. Capone, this guy says. Oh, you don't know what a dumb bunch of bastards I had to put up with. Uh, they wanted to acquit him. <laughs> they wanted to acquit him. <laughs> they wanted to acquit him. <laughs> Them fellas, they sure wanted me to stick around. But hey. You know how it is with us prodigies.